it's your boy, Carl, Brendan, whatever you want to call me. Really don't give a shit. Everyone's favorite Twitter shit poster. Um, we're going to talk about tea. Welcome to quarantine tea time. We're, we're going to wing this. We're going to do one take. Um, and that's what you're going to get. If I fuck up, I fuck up. Um, yeah, so you're going to have a lot of pauses in here because, you know, I got to think about what I want to say. Um, thanks for joining me. Uh, thanks for all the votes saying I should do this. Um, I got nothing better to do. And before you ask, yes, I am doing this to avoid studying for the GRE, but let's not talk about that now. Um, I just got hooked up with some new tea. Even though it's new to you, probably, but it's not new to me. This is uh, Assam CTC. Uh, it's easily my favorite tea that I've found so far. Um, it's, a, it's a black tea that ha is really strong. Um, it has a very full flavor, um, a little bit like, like a little creamy, like it has a little bit of a caramel stuff, uh, you know, scents, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I, I got it from, uh, a company in, company, a shop in Maplewood, um, called Traveling Tea, um, super great place. Uh, I, I love supporting them. I, I don't really like buying like, like the twinnings, even though I definitely have some right here. This is going to be next episode. Watch out. Um, but uh, they're really great. They're located in Maplewood here in St. Louis. Um, and I, I love visiting there um, because they have uh, a program where you can bring your own containers um, and fill it up with however, however much it can hold, which is great because you're buying in bulk. It's a lot cheaper. Um, and so I gave them a call, and they were nice enough to uh, deliver this to my house, so I didn't have to pay shipping, um, which is great. I love it. Um, gave me a call just to confirm. Really great people. 10 out of 10. Highly recommend if you're in the St. Louis area. Um, this is the part where I plug your local tea store. Um, go support them. Go support any local business you can, if that's curbside, if that's ordering through the mail, whatever. Um, they need your support now more than ever. Um, if you're looking for a tea store and want to get into tea, um, spice stores usually have a little bit. Uh, your local coffee shop probably has some. Start off with some Earl Grey green tea, um, and then you can get into like what more flavors you want. Um, uh, so Breakfast Assam CTC is, like I said, easily my favorite tea. I first discovered it when I was studying abroad in China. I was... Uh, uh, lucky enough to like uh, make close friends with this Australian family, uh, me and a couple of the other students. Um, great people, miss them very much. But uh, the mother of the group, she would, um, after we would eat dinner, she was like, "Hey, would you would you like any tea?" And I was like, "Oh, of course." Um, and she showed me this Assam tea, and I was like, "Wow, this is easily the best stuff I've ever had." And uh, I, I kept raving about it. And before I left, she gave me a package of it. It probably was maybe like five or six ounces. Um, and I made that last as long as I could. Um, ever since that, I've been trying to buy it more and more. It's easily what I go for in the morning. It gets me going. Um, midday, something I like to do just to, you know, get the more caffeine and we get some more energy. Um, so I bought eight ounces. It was on sale for $10. And I can't beat that. I, I, I justified it. Um, and God, it's just so good. I, I wish you could taste it with me. Um, you're going to have to buy yourself some if you, if you like tea. It may, it's got a coffee uh, acid, uh, acidity, acidicness, acidicness. Um, I, it, it, it's got a bit, a bit of a fuller flavor than like an Earl Grey or a Lady Grey. So, oh God, hold on. It's really sweet. Um, it's got like that full flavor that you would kind of expect in a tea. It, it's very dry, obviously, but like, it really. It really like like breathes. I don't know how how best to describe it, um, but it's just such a, a potent, subtle flavoring, which may be an oxymoron, but it, it's just so good. So the the funniest part about um, Assam CTC is like while you usually see uh, like leaves like that are like they're very clearly small leaves that have been shrunk down. Um, and they look like dehydrated leaves. A thumb is actually, I don't know if you can see that, they're like little balls. Um, essentially what they do is they cut it. Um, CTC actually stands for cut, tear, curl. So when you cut the leaf, you, you dry it, as you usually do. Um, then you curl it up into a little ball, 
Um, or no, you tear it, I guess. Yeah, that's how that works. Uh, they tear it somehow, I don't know, maybe split the leaf in half. I'm not an expert, I just like this shit, man. Um, and then they curl it into a ball. Um, I'm not sure exactly what this does for it. The Wikipedia article that I skimmed doesn't really give me an explanation. Um, I'm going to guess that it contains more caffeine, something like that. I don't know. Um, so I have been recently trying to watch what I eat, and it sucks. Um, now let's do two tablespoons. Um, so I've been doing like two tablespoons of tea in the morning. Um, there is definitely way more than I need. Uh, but it's been so long, I'm going to treat myself. I haven't had this shit for months. Like, a month. Um, but I love it. I love it so much. Um, so, first of all, you're going to need your tea. Obviously. Um, uh, so I got in this little bowl that I, that I wanted to show you with. You got your little tea strainer. Um, a little pro tip, if your tea is super fine, like I've got some really fine tea, don't use this. If you don't like tea leaves in your tea like I do, um, it's just going to seep through, and it's just going to be really weird. There's going to be a texture, and I'm not trying to fuck with that. Um, get some reusable tea bags, whatever you can do. Save the environment. Go turtles. Um, so we're going to have a very bad camera angle of the top of my head where I'm just pouring tea into here. Um, so, fun fact, because that's why y'all came here was to learn, right? Um, uh, all tea is actually related to green tea, and it uh, it depends on uh, how much you dry it for, I believe so. Um, I don't even know my own fun facts. Uh, but it, it, I think the, the more you dry it or when you, like, pluck it, however old it is, I guess, it determines the flavor. So, like, green tea is, like, really, really fresh. White tea is, like, under-fresh, under-ripe. Um, so it doesn't even, it has a, a flavor, but it doesn't have a color to it. Um, we'll get there eventually, maybe four or five. I got a lot of teas to show you. I really like tea. So once you got this shit filled up, it should be about halfway. Um, whatever works for you. If you want really strong and you want to go all the way, if you can fit it in, go go for it. Um, I probably should have started the kettle beforehand, but I got really excited to do this because the five votes out of the... 102 followers I have. It, it just keeps me going, man. Um, yeah, this is the quiet part. Um, uh, I personally hate um, warming up in the microwave. That's the word. That's the thing. I used to do it um, and I had some British friends that were like, what are you doing? Like, that, that's stupid. Like, I cannot believe that you're doing that. And I was like, all right, whatever. And I got, a, like, a really nice tea kettle. Um, my sister got it for me one year for Christmas. So shout out uh, to her. Um, that was not plugged in. Fuck me. Um, and, yeah, it, it's super good. And I think they're, like, 20 bucks. It's, it's really not that bad. If you have a Keurig, that works really well, too. Um if you've used Keurig for coffee, uh, the coffee grounds will still kind of be in there. Um, obviously, you take out the cup. Um, do, like, the smallest one first. Have it run through, clean it out. And then you can do another one, and it works just as well. Um, so we're going to wait here because I, I put a bit too much water, a little under a liter. Um, so I'd like to uh, give a shout-out to a couple people. Um, First of all, Muhammad Ali, um, you know, I, I've been trying to take more care of myself, uh, and yeah, I think he once said that he doesn't, he doesn't count, like, his uh, reps or push-ups or anything until it starts hurting. A uh, little mantra I've been trying to do, uh, I, I don't stick to it because 10 push-ups and I, I'm done, um, so I'm sure if I got to, like, 10 and started counting to go to 10, my arms would probably break in half, um, and I'm not trying to do that. I'd like to give another shout out to uh, smoothies. Um, smoothies are great. Uh, they're great after a run, you know, trying to get that protein and trying to get those gains and just like, it's a great way of just getting fruit in. Like, I, I love strawberries, but like, I guess I'm at the age where everything tastes more bitter. Um, and they, they just taste super bitter on their own. But here, fucking fire big fan. Uh, I'm going to have to go in for another one. I'm sorry. Mm. I got a buddy. 
who uh, comes into where I work, I work at board game stores, he didn't know, um, and he, he sees me drinking it all the time, he's like, uh, I don't want to drink baby vomit, and I'm like, bro, you got it. Health as well. You gotta get those gains. He's like, I don't want to be healthy if it is drinking baby vomit. And honestly, maybe it is baby vomit. I've never tried actual baby vomit. Maybe it's just as fire as this. I don't know. There's only one way to find out, and I don't particularly want to. Um, I'm rambling. Obviously, my anxiety's peaking right now. I hate being on camera. We're running on 10 minutes. If you haven't shut it off now. Um, but let you know, like and subscribe. Hit that hit that motherfucking bell. Uh, let's get this. Uh, I've got a lot of teas. Uh, so we got we got some of this twinning stuff. Um, a little bit of Earl Grey. I don't like Earl Grey anymore. It just doesn't do it for me, man. Um, we got uh, some Yopon. It's a uh, fun fact. The only naturally grown or occurring whatever word you use. Uh, plant in the United States to be caffeinated. Um, it's actually super caffeinated, but it's super good. I don't like it like every day, um, but it, it's nice to change it up a little bit. If I'm like studying like halfway through the day, um, I might just need a little bit of a kick up and just kind of want to change it up taste wise. Um, we also got this clouds and mist. Um, I believe this is a green tea. Um, I want to sniff it, but I'm not going to because that, that's for like. God, we have so many episodes I want to do now. Um, for later, uh, we got a Shangri La White Nepal OG. Sounds like weed. Probably should be a weed name. If anyone knows anyone in the industry, I would love to smoke some Shangri La Nepal OG. I don't smoke anymore. Thank God. But I would smoke that shit for sure. It's a white tea. Like I said, um, it's like really early on in the process, uh, super smooth, super flavorful, highly recommend. If you're just looking to get into tea and you just want like something simple to start off with, white tea is a good way to go. Um, I forget what this shit is. Uh, it's really, really fine. It's the fine black tea that I was talking about, and it's been my daily driver for a little bit um, while I don't have a psalm in my life. And uh, it's good. I like it. It it's nothing special. Uh, my mom's boyfriend bought it from Sri Lanka, uh, which is cool. I, I appreciate it. You know, I love some other tea. Um, teapot's done. It's been like two minutes. I swear to God, if it covers up all the audio, I'm going to be pissed. Um, there's no way I can do this all again. Uh, but we also got some gunpowder. Not yet. You thought I was done. I'm not going to finish when this is finished. Uh, it's another green tea. It's a, uh, it's a bit more fuller flavor than the Clouds and Mist. Uh, very good. Um, it's chill. It's white tea. Uh, I'm not going to go into it anymore because we're, we're ready to pour. Um, so, i got to figure out how to do this. I'm on the front facing camera. Ooh, look at that. This is nice tea. Alright, let's, let's see what we got here. Alright, there we go. There's the shot, boy. Alright, so, we're in here. And we're chilling, you know, we, we want to get in that hot water. Um, I can't see the top of it, so I'm really worried that it's endless. Okay, there we go. Awesome, love it. You love to see it. So, as you may have saw as it was beginning to see, it's like almost immediately turning red. Um, another fun fact that you didn't ask for is that um, in... China, they don't call it black tea, they call it red tea. Um, and if you really look at that, like through the light that I can't seem to get catching, um, it is really red. It's not so much black. Uh, so we gotta wait a little bit. You just gotta be quiet sometimes, you know? You just gotta, you gotta exist. Um, I think that's what uh, I've learned most throughout my life, and the quarantine is no different. Sometimes it's just all right to exist. Um, you don't really need to be doing anything. Um, and you can be working on yourself, you can be studying, you can be reading. Um, but like kind of unplugging from like modern technology is never a bad idea. Um, I don't like technology, I think it's the devil, and yet here I am posting on Twitter because I can't leave this hell of a site. It's too good. Oh, God. I need more smoothie. 
If any of you have a favorite tea that you particularly like, please uh, leave a comment below. Um, that's it. I, I don't know, man. Like, I'm just kind of trying to pass the time. Um, I didn't really mean to make tea, but I did. And I'm not complaining, I just kind of like... Sorry, we have like squirrels in the rafters. I don't know if you heard that shit, but it bothers the fuck out of me. Alright. We are pretty much there, ladies and gentlemen. Um, now, this is where I get into the controversial opinions. Alright, gotta throw this shit away. Um, there's a, a big debate within the tea community on uh, what you put into your tea. I know a lot of purists are all about uh, no sugar, no milk, just like, you know, really tasting the tea, man. Fuck that. No, I, whatever, call me an American, call me, like, a, a, a heretic. Um, I just like, I like my tea with a little bit of sugar. Um, I've been cutting down on it. I think I've been doing two tablespoons. We're going to do one today so that the flavor comes out a bit more. Um, I'll probably add another one after I turn the camera off because I'm a poser. Um, got one in there. Awesome. Um, grab your tiny little spoon. Is it a tiny spoon or a overly large man? We don't know. Um, stir it up. Get it going. You know, clockwise, counterclockwise. Let it get all up in there. Um, this is also another thing that I'm uh, a heretic about. Um, I like milk in my tea. I'm not talking almond milk. I'm not talking oat, oat milk. I'm talking about motherfucking cow milk. I know it's bad for you. It's not good. You shouldn't drink milk. This has been a PSA from someone who's about to put milk in their tea. All right. Um, this is my favorite part. And you've seen you've seen me do a slow motion. If you haven't, follow me on Twitter at Jaden Mind, all lowercase. All right. We're here. We're kind of queer. All right. I have a method here. All right. There we go. That's all the milk you need. As soon as the milk starts to really rise and really get to the top, that's about when you should pull away. Um, let it kind of do its thing for a little bit. Really get in there um, and stir it in. Um, if you if you drink coffee, um, you put creamer or milk in your coffee, you'll know how much you need to put in. Um, and just do that, yeah. Treat it like you would coffee, um, but, you know, tea's got its own thing. Um, all right. So we got our mug here. Um, it is an Ozark Airlines mug, um, a defunct airline. But I do love the Ozarks, and shout out to the Ozarks. Um... Oh, God. It still has that smell that you do from just, like, the tea itself. Um, it's obviously a bit sweeter now that I've, like, sweetened it. Um, but... Whew. Let's give her a taste. Ooh. Ooh hold on. It's great. I'm not pausing because it's not great. It's fantastic. Um, I, I guess I put too much sugar in it before because it tastes way different. Um, it's it's a lot more fuller. It's got a little bit of a bite at the end. Um, I don't know how to describe it. I'm not a professional tea person. I don't know what adjectives to use. We're going to try another sip and see if anything comes to mind. dry, which isn't really a bad thing when it comes to tea. Um, I think that really gives it a characteristic that coffee doesn't have. While well, coffee is really acidic, or in my opinion, really acidic, um, this uh, really kind of just flows, which is more of a water adjective when I just said dry, but I guess like, I don't know, it's a dry creek bed and it's the first rain of the year. and 
something like that. I, I don't know, man. It's just really fucking good. I don't know what my point was for doing this. And I'm gonna do it again, so you better watch out. Um, we're running on 20 minutes. Yeah, I don't know. It's just got a really full flavor. It's, uh, it's really good. It's chill. Love it. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, <laughs> if you made it this if you actually made it this far, uh, thank you for spending 20 minutes of your life um, having me rant about tea and how much I like it. Um, stay safe out there. Um, make sure you eat your veggies. Um, if you don't want to eat your veggies, like me, put it in a smoothie. Can't tell the difference. It's great. Um, you know, support your local tea shops. I think first and foremost, I guess that's my thesis. Local tea shops are great. Give them some money. Um, and yeah, bon appetit. And we're out.